Blog Talk Radio. Auto accident? Contact the Utah Whiplash Group, certified specialist physicians, attorneys, and massage therapists. UtahWhiplash.com. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Mark Snow with the Head, Neck, and Back Pain Relief Center of West Valley City in West Valley City, Utah. Chiropractic physician and author of the book Sick World, A Story of Modern Day Slavery. We have a special guest on the program with us today. His name is Tyler LeBaron. Tyler has a degree in biochemistry and is a currently a, a professor at uh, of physiology at BYU-Idaho. He's well-versed in molecular cell biology, organic chemistry, and or inorganic chemistry. He is an affiliate member of the American Chemical Society and has been published in the American Chemical Society division, the Journal of Chemical Education. So we're going to go ahead and bring... Tyler on the air with us here. Hello, Tyler, are you there with us? Yeah, yes, I am. Awesome. That's great. Good to have you with us. So um, we're, we're going to talk today a little bit about, uh, kind of follow up what I talked about uh, a few weeks ago with white flour and the dangers of white flour and white sugar. And I think specifically today uh, we're going to have you address fructose and the dangers of fructose. Yeah, yeah, that would be... That's something important to address, and, and it's a rising epidemic, as you know, because we are consuming so much sugar. I mean, 200 years ago, the average American only consumed about two pounds of sugar per, per year, and now the average American is, is upwards of over 150 pounds of sugar per year. I mean, it's in baby formulas everywhere. It's, it's a serious problem, and that's, it correlates very strongly with the increasing rates of obesity and diabetes and, and all the other types of disease out there, metabolic syndrome, so it, it is a big deal, so I'm glad we're, we're discussing this. And tell, tell me, how, how is fructose metabolized in the body? Well, it's definitely metabolized differently than, than glucose. So just let me just say with glucose really quick, everything, all the foods we take um, are, are basically turned into glucose, our potatoes, our, our, our starches, our bread, everything turns into glucose, and guess what? Every cell in the body can use glucose for energy. But fructose is different. Only the liver can metabolize fructose. And that's where the problems come, because the liver has to do all the metabolism. So you take 100 calories of glucose, well, the liver only is going to metabolize, you know, 10% of those calories. But fructose, you take 100 calories, the liver has to metabolize every single one of those. And Generally, with these simple sugars like fructose and glucose, the first thing to metabolism is you have to phosphorylate them. Um, you add a phosphate group to them. And that's the first thing that happens with fructose, too. But because this is all happening in the liver, it ends up causing a serious problem because there's a thing called a phosphate depletion because you're basically losing all of your, your ATP. It's broken down to ADP and ends, ends up being broken down to uric acid by deaminase enzymes. Um, which, as you know, causes gout. So that's right. right off the bat you're having problems, you see. So it's not, and, it, it, the liver is affected, it's, over, it's overloaded, but, but the, the effects are systemic. Yeah, yeah, the starts the liver and then everything just goes systemic. You get, I mean, the first, like I said, you produce a uric acid, we know that causes gout, but another thing it does, it actually blocks um, endothelial nitric oxide synthase, which is this, uh, you know, thing that produces nitric oxide, which lowers blood pressure. And so because people who are taking all this fructose, they end up getting hypertension, and hypertension is an epidemic. So, I mean, that's the very first thing that happens when you start metabolizing fructose, you start causing uric acid, you start increasing blood pressure, and, and, and then and it gets worse as the metabolism goes on. I know one of the questions that people may have is, that, uh, isn't fructose a natural sugar that we find in fruit? Yeah, that's a great question, and, and, and you're absolutely right. It absolutely is the same sugar. It's the, it's the same exact thing. And, and, and so, so how is that bad, right? I mean, it's yeah. a natural yeah, that's thing. that's a question that people but, have. Yeah. Right. But, I mean, if you think about it, you know, a lot of things are natural. A lot of the, you know, toxic things that, you, you could take it kill you, and that's natural also. So it's, that's not a very good argument. But if we look at how much fructose is in our fruits, I mean, how many 
how many apples or how many uh, oranges does it take to uh, make a full glass of fruit juice? A lot more than you would, you know, normally eat, right? Right. So, so it's right. really so, just a so volume it's a quantity issue. issue. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And the same argument yeah. for water. I mean, you can drink too much water. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and people have died from drinking too much water. Right, and 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 so that that causes a, a problem in the body. Also, just drinking too much water. In fact, it can kill you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it can cause hyponatremia, the low sodium levels, and yeah. So and and that's the thing with this fructose. You know, it's I guess it, it's not a toxic and toxin in small doses. In fact, fructose can be great for athletes. Um, when, you know, when they're trying to replenish their glycogen stores because fructose can help replenish that quicker than glucose can. But taking it all the time, especially if you don't need it, you're really throwing off your body's homeostasis, really causing a lot of problems. Right. That's excellent. Good information. So now we talked uh, previously about white flour and the dangers of white flour. And... One of the things I talked about when, when I spoke about white flour is the loss of those, the fiber that is in the, the wheat kernel. And I want, to, right, I want you right. to, to kind of shift gears now and kind of discuss a little bit more about fiber, its importance in that, and, and how that helps to raise the hydrogen level in our body. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and you know, it's a great lead way in also with the fructose thing. You asked why is the fructose and fruit maybe not as bad. Well, it is as bad, it's just that you're not getting as much, but the other thing is when you're taking the fruits, you're also getting the fiber. And, and some of the benefits of fiber are you, you're going to have a, a lower absorption of the carbohydrate so it doesn't get to you so fast. And, and you're right, a fiber is so important. I mean, you know, a long time ago, our ancestors would eat 100 to 300 grams of fiber per day, but now we're only in about 12 grams of fiber. So we're taking it out of everything. And right. so that, another thing that fiber does, it actually can increase the levels of this hormone PYY, which helps to induce satiety so we're not, you know, so hungry all the time. But then, like you mentioned, there's another benefit of fiber that um, it's being more recognized, and it actually has to do with the gut flora, our, the bacteria in our intestines. Um, what, what can happen is some of these fibers will be digested by the gut bacteria to produce hydrogen gas diatomic hydrogen gas. And what research has found is uh, this hydrogen gas is extremely therapeutic because it's an antioxidant. Um, the, uh, as people may know that hydrogen is the lightest and smallest element, and so it can easily diffuse into inside of the cells, into the subcellular compartments, and it can scavenge these toxic free radicals. And, okay, so and, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to pause you there for a second. And okay. I have some questions that can kind of help clarify some of the things you've said for people who may be listening. Uh, before I do, I want to let, let our listeners know there is a call-in number. It's 646-716-5217. If you have any questions for Tyler, 646-716-5217, uh, feel free to call in. So, so Tyler, real quick, I want to just clarify a few things for our listeners. Diatomic, um, and, and what I want them to know is, is what that means. There's two hydrogen atoms together, and they're bound yep. together, and that's what makes it diatomic, right, meaning two atoms. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks for As opposed to that. just the element of hydrogen. Okay. And then you talked about it being uh, uh, um, antioxidant, meaning it, right. it reduces oxidation or it fights against oxidation, and oxidation is, is where you have free radicals that are elements that are, are missing an electron, basically. Right. Right, yeah, so they're reactive, they're going to damage your so DNA. Yeah, exactly. they're implicated in virtually every disease. And so hydrogen then absorbs those or, and neutralizes those so they can't do damage to the tissues. Right. Well, it's okay. even better than that. It's even better than that because new research is actually finding that a lot of these free radicals are actually vital, important, essential signaling molecules. They actually help the body to, 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 you know, heal, to recover. When you exercise, you produce free radicals, and that's one of the signals that makes your muscles, you know, bigger, better, faster, stronger. And if you neutralize all of the free radicals, you might cause other problems. Um, in right. fact, some studies have shown that taking high doses of, of certain antioxidants 
can actually blunt some of the, the positive effects of training. But hydrogen gas, there was an article published in 2007 in the Journal of Nature Medicine where it showed that hydrogen was a selective antioxidant. Only, only scavenged or only reduced the, the most cytotoxic or, or the most damaging free radicals and left the other important radicals alone. Whereas a lot of these uh, antioxidant drinks and so forth that are, are marketed, they may not be so selective. Yeah, exactly. They can go in there and yeah, and, and not and not uh, not be selective at all, and may cause other problems. In fact, you know, for a long time it. they were having yeah, for a long time they were having uh, smokers take beta carotene because they thought that you know beta carotene is an antioxidant, so it can help scavenge the radicals. They did a large study on that. They had to stop the study not even halfway done because the people taking the antioxidant were getting cancer, lung cancer, and dying faster than those on placebo. So right. there's more going on there. And the same thing happened with the vitamin E study. Um, there's something to do with, with these radicals are important and the other antioxidants aren't, aren't necessarily good for us in extremely high doses. But taking this hydrogen, hydrogen gas seems to be very selective. And, and it's, it's a phenomenal property of this simple element. Now, real quick, I want, want you to share with everybody, our listeners, uh, your website. Yeah, sure. It's, if you go to uh, molecularhydrogeninstitute.com, so just type in molecularhydrogeninstitute.com, and I talk about the benefits of hydrogen, a lot of the research, you'll see, you know, a couple hundred article, research articles, um, from the scientific literature there. I, uh, I actually did, my, uh, uh, did an internship, did some studying at Nagoya University in Japan where I researched the biochemical mechanisms of molecular hydrogen. So I established this website to help the, you know, the public and everybody know about the benefits of hydrogen. And I hope everyone can go check that out and subscribe, ask questions, and, and learn. Yeah, I, I recommend it uh, to our listeners that you get onto his website and find out. Now, you talk on your website about some aquatic sources of this hydrogen gas, the diatomic hydrogen. So, say that again, some what? You talk on, uh, on your website about some aquatic sources, some water sources of this diatomic hydrogen. I mean, if I just go yeah. and drink a, a glass of water from the faucet, it's not going to give me that diatomic hydrogen, right? Right, yeah, it's not going to, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. There's other methods to, to, that you'll have to produce that. And it can be done using water because water is H2O and hydrogen is H2. So and you can go on the website and you'll see different ways that uh, that can be done. Um, but then there are, there are a natural uh, healing water. Maybe people have heard of some of these healing waters like in Teleco to Mexico and northern New Germany and different areas where people have claimed to receive these miraculous benefits from, from drinking these waters. Well, it turns uh -huh. out that, that uh, those observations were real, and the reason why is because those waters actually contain small amounts of dissolved hydrogen gas. I see. So are those waters are only in these places. We don't have it here in the United States. They're, they are available um, here to get, because it's becoming a, a, a bigger, uh, you know, a bigger market, if you will, because they see all the potential. So there are... You know, there's people have heard maybe of water ionizers before, so ionized water. Generally, that's not marketed as a hydrogen supplement. It's marketed as an alkaline thing. But right. research is showing the reason for the benefits of the ionized water is primarily due to the dissolved hydrogen gas. But most marketers don't know that because it's a, it's a pretty new thing that, that this hydrogen gas, it's a new area, even among scientists, so very new amongst the marketers. Great. Well, Tyler, I want to thank you for being with us today. Again, this is Tyler LeBaron, uh, Professor of Physiology at BYU-Idaho, and uh, real glad to have you with us on the, on the program today. This is Dr. Mark Snow with the Head, Neck, and Back Pain Relief Center of West Valley in West Valley City, Utah, chiropractic physician and author of the book Sick World, A Story of Modern-Day Slavery. Thank you for being with us today.